Anytime I'm heading out to the river, I like to start off with a little fishing report research and find out what flies I'm going to be trying out. This is a great practice when you have a large variety of flies and you need to narrow down your choices, but this is not a problem I currently have. Rather than giving up or waiting until the shop opened, I decided to make it my quest to catch a fish with the gear and flies I had. This is what we're working with tomorrow. Um, not a whole lot. Ooh, I'm almost embarrassed to have those red worms in there. But you know, I just bought them. I've never used them before. This is about what I have left. Um, luckily we have these two right here which have produced some good fish during the winter. And I'll probably start out with this egg here uh, just behind the split shot if the water is moving like I think it will be tomorrow and followed by uh, this little black zebra midge down over here. Um, this little copper john type fellow uh, might trade in to either of those positions but other than that we're going to really rely on stealth picking the right areas of the river and just a good presentation rather than trying to match any specific bugs. There we go, such slim pickings. I got I got this one indicator bobber and it's gonna work for me. We're gonna catch fish. I got uh, just variable sizes here of split shot. Watch this. It's gonna work. We got eights, tens, fours, and sixes. It's easier to read like that. Um, I don't know. Don't really know. Wow. I usually use the size 6 split shots, at least to get started. Anyways, water ball. Um, another water ball. Um, probably take out a couple liqueurs. That's it. That's all we're taking. I really shouldn't throw stuff towards my fishing rods. Rookie. So as you guys can tell, it's still very dark out. I wanted to be one of the first ones out here and I'm not even close. It's 6 a.m. Why are there people gearing up at every spot already. This is just life now. Ooh. Gonna have to get used to filming in front of people. It's so weird. Okay, so I'm just gonna gear up and get in the water. It's cold. Uh, I think it's still like 45 degrees, which it's cold on the fingers. I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful morning. A little bit of cloud cover and oranges and yellows in the clouds. It's beautiful. Okay. That took forever. We got a little competition over there. But that's all right, plenty of water. All right, let's do this. So just like I talked about last night, guys, starting off with a couple, couple split shots. Uh, and then the egg below that with the zebra midge. I'm really hopeful that this is gonna get us a fish. Let the amateur fishing commence. Here we go.
guys, we have a fish on. First cast. Holy shit. <laughs> Looks like a brown trout. It's a nice brown trout. Oh, guys. This is amazing. Oh. Look at this fish. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Oh, I feel so lucky. Oh, guys, I hope I'm not giving all my secrets away, but the zebra midge, it just works. There it is. Look at that guy. Wow. Have a good life, buddy. Guys, first cast. I mean, I always have the fear of getting skunked. How often does first cast happen? Well, that's what happens. It was a good presentation. It was just floating along. Let's see if we can do it again. I was seriously just like snag already. Again, guys, keeping it simple today. Not a lot of back cast. Oh, that felt like a bite. Well, it didn't feel like a bite. It looked like a bite. Just making sure I'm all clean. No vegetation. Snack. Little zebra midge. If you don't have one, get one. My first fly fishing experience was on the Crooked River in outside of, uh, I was living in Bend, Oregon. Um, and I went there, I was watching so many guys catch fish all day, and I was catching nothing. And I just had some older gentleman come up to me, he was very kind, told me what he was fishing, told me what was working for him. He handed me a zebra midge, one zebra midge. And I caught fish on that trip. That's what it should be like. Don't expect people to know what a bug is when you say the name of it. Show them, tell them how it's supposed to be cast, why it's cast that way. Fish. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Which one's it on? I can't tell. I think it's on the egg. That would be, oh, it's on the egg. That's so awesome. It means both flies are gonna get us on fish today. Look at this guy. What is he? Now I'm second guessing that first fish. Is this a berm? This the It looks like a hybrid. Again guys, I'm gonna say it a lot in this first episode, but I am no expert. So teach me what you will in the comments. Oh, look at that. Wow. Thanks.
also, I just can't think of the name of those guys, but I know there is a hybrid. All right, guys, drink a coffee here. And we'll go to it. We got the new Panasonic G7 set up here. It's a kit lens, uh, got a road mic on top. Uh, and then we got this Manfrotto tripod. Uh, it's brand new, guys. So I'm learning, you know, video quality is uh, going to be limited by the user, uh, me. So I'm working on it. We'll get there. I'm excited to, to improve. I love being a, a beginner. All right. Save some coffee for later. Catch some more fish. What do you guys think about this? Should I try leaving that on? It's a zebra midge with a husk hanging off the back. That's how I found it. I'm gonna give it a few casts. That'd be crazy. I mean, it's gotta look like what's in the water though. Maybe I need to avoid that vegetation right there. Come in a little bit closer. Set up there. We're gonna try another spot, a little down river, and see how it goes. It's so crazy that this quest that I set out to complete today felt like such a low probability, and then first cast. Oh, and I enjoyed it so much. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit below where I'm hoping the fish are here. And we're just gonna work our way across to the left. Gotta set lock your goals, guys. Catch one fish, come on. Give yourself some credit. feel good about this water. I just don't, I haven't felt good about my presentation quite yet. Never feel good about presentation until you catch a fish. Yeah, we'll turn this back on just in case I fall in the water. And thanks for the views, right? Made it. Maybe someday I'll get views. All right guys, so we're back at it. We, uh, we just took the zebra midge and brought it quite a bit closer to our egg there. And I also brought the split shot pretty close to the egg, which is how it was when I caught that first, the second fish on the egg. So just hoping to get that zebra midge a little bit deeper in the water along with the egg. 
a little closer contact to uh, my indicator as well. Ooh, those are feeling fishy, the way they're going down. Got some fast current against my legs. Guys, that is a big brown trout. Wow. Wow, I was just about to lift up and his head poked up and he just looked at me like, oh yeah, see what you got. Wow, wow. Let's see if I get below him here. Ugh, he's getting back out of the current. All right. So exciting. What a good looking fish. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a fish. I'm gonna see if I can get him my other camera. Fish. Oh my day. There it is. <laughs> Look at that guy. Let's get him back in the water. He's, he's been through enough. Oh, thank you, fish. All right, guys, back in the car for a minute just to warm up the toes and uh, just to soak in that catch. Uh, such a bummer that the GoPro footage cut out, but batteries die, what can you do? I guess check them more often, I guess. Um, but I'm getting that water that I promised you guys. I don't just drink coffee, I promise. Um, but yeah, I need to get some B-roll footage. B-roll, it's not something I've ever done before. Probably just like stick my camera in some pine trees and do some zoom stuff. But anyways, just gonna drink some water, eat a couple chips. I like chips, you'll learn this about me. I eat a lot of chips. Um, I gotta get back out on the water. This guy down here just below me is pulling in his second fish uh, since the time I've been sitting here. So they're out there. Uh, I think that fish was another of the hybrid that I've been catching. Otherwise, I just don't know what a brown trout looks like, and it's just a brown trout. I just haven't caught that many of them. I've caught a number of rainbows, and um, mostly just fish for smallmouth on my fly rod, which going to be back in Kentucky here in April, and I'm definitely going to get you guys some smallmouth footage on some poppers and uh, on my home creek. So that's to, you guys can look forward to that. Otherwise, let's get back on the water. Let's catch another big fish. All right. Just stick your camera in a pine tree and then it's called a panic throwback there it was again or you just don't know what to do with all the line behind you, so you just panic and chuck it forward. There's probably something else you could do in that instance, but 
That's what I tend to do. Call it the panicked chuck. <laughs> Stupid. Where are you going, flies? All right, guys, so we're back in the car. Uh, no luck. It happens, um, but this river is so beautiful. I wanna be able to show you guys one more spot. So I'm gonna hit the road and see if anything's open. Uh, there are so many spots I haven't even touched yet. So let's go see what we can find. So there was a big rock back there that I know a lot of fish sit behind. Um, I've always had trouble uh, not spooking them. So I think we're gonna move on. I've seen a lot of people fishing uh, the tail end of ripples today. So that's kind of what I've got my eyes set on. So we'll keep on looking. Later on, my editor, Steve, is gonna make this part look so epic. Coming out to the river. Okay, so I've had a little change of plans. I was feeling kind of desperate. We haven't had a bite in a while. And I was thinking about putting the red worm on, but I'm not gonna do it. Because I found these little guys in my car. A little rusty white woolly bugger. We're gonna try that down in some of these pools. And you know, I usually use these for bask, little crawdad imitations. So we're gonna see if they work. Why not? All right, guys. Last ditch effort. This is gonna be my last spot. Oh, it's just been such a beautiful day. To get those fish on film, it's just exactly what I was looking for. Let's see if anything wants to chase through here. Where's that big aggressive fish? Where are those aggressive fish? They all just want a passive meal? Okay guys, I gotta call it a day. Um, look at this rock path here to my camera. One last shot for me to uh, finally fall in, so we'll see if that happens on our way out. But I'm gonna save a little bit of battery to do, uh, talk to you guys at the end, do a little outro. But let's see if I make this. Let's see. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day. Oh, I had so much fun. A first cast fish, and on limited flies, I mean, I couldn't have drawn it up any better. I had such a good time. Uh, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, it's only gonna get better. I just got this gear, I'm still learning. And you know, if you wanna stick around for the journey, hit the subscribe and send me that thumbs up so I know that you want more, you want more of this. Uh, so coming in May, I said April earlier, but in May, I'm gonna be back in Kentucky, Kentucky, uh, targeting small mouth bass and it's gonna be awesome. Topwater action, you're gonna wanna be there. All right guys, see you next time.